are going to be doing this little swirl. Um, it was actually my first attempt at making of what I now have as the donut here. But, um, I still thought it was really cool, so I'm still going to show you guys how to do it. Today, um, you will need two colors for this. So, I'm going to be using my, um, I'm going to be using brown. And my purple ones that will change into pink once they're done cooling off. I had them in the freezer for about 30 minutes, so, um, it's, yeah. So, um, so, whatever color you want, like, I did my pink on the bottom, and I think it showed off a lot better. So, I'm going to do my purple on the bottom, my purple pink. And, um, so, here we go. So, you're going to start from going to your middle peg, to this outer peg. And during this video, you could, you'll see that they will actually change to pink. And I'm going to actually try laying out a bunch of them. So I don't have to touch them too many. Because I don't want them getting all... So then you just keep on moving. And then you go up on the middle. Upward like this. And then you go sideways. So if you have seen my basketball video, a lot of my designs are actually like that, and I will um actually show you that one often. We'll talk about that one often when doing this. So it's probably a good one to watch if you're any, at any time confused. Um, so you just keep on moving around. And so, you basically end up getting like this weird diamond right now. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to use it in a different angle. Okay. So then you want to start moving upward on the sides by one. Okay. And then you're going to go out on the sides here. From here to here, and here to here, using your double bands. Now, I think when I'm doing this, I'm using two different colors, and I think it actually works really well for this. Um, so, I like actually using two different colors, because I think it's easier to actually find, find what I'm looking for. Okay, so you just want to keep on moving inward on this, and... Okay, so then you're going to want to move up into the middle here first. So, now that you got this, you're going to want to get one from here to here. So, you're going to use, still using double bands. You're going to move over from this peg to this peg. Then you're going to do your last peg for the middle there. So, you're going to go up by this one. And now you have this. And so now we're going to be working from here, oops, sorry, from here to here. So you just take your last band, and boom, we have that done. Now you are going to be using the top color, or for me is my top color, because I kept brown on my top. And you're going to tie that off by about four, about four times. You could, I'm going to actually do mine for you though, just to experiment and see how this goes. Um, so, you want to start off then by going in and grabbing this last piece that you took off that was on there in, in the middle, which will be right directly underneath your cap band. And you just want to keep on doing that all the way around. The whole thing.
Okay. So now you got this flower design on there that you guys can probably see. I hope you guys can see this. My lighting is not the best today. Um, and then you are going to want to move around here. So you're going to go from, so then you're going to go down here. And in these two here, you're going to directly under this two that you just put on, you're going to take it out and move over here so that it will have its match. And you will do this all, and then you go back, and then you do the exact same thing and grab the other two from this side here. Hope you guys can see that. Um, so we just keep on moving. Then you end up moving all the way back down to here by going to the very bottom, taking those last two at the very bottom, taking them out, and moving them forward to here. Make sure you see somewhat of teardrops. They won't be perfect teardrops though. They might be a little bit distorted or whatever. Um, just a little, so don't be alarmed, because you guys are already good at this, I'm, I'm better. You just keep moving, and then you can come down to here. So now you have everything at the bottom of this peg here, and that honestly looks like a lot, but don't worry, it's not that hard. So you're going to take one of your bands. Um, doesn't matter what color, but probably colored up on here. So I'm going to be using brown, and you are basically just going to tie it off. So you just have to tie it off, and then you can start taking it off after that. I really like these charms because you do not need any clips. You also can use a clip if you don't want to use this method, but I like it in case you want to like add anything on to it, you can. And I like that choice because I make like these little pencil bangles. So this is my design that I made. And this is the swirl, so now we can start taking it off. Just slowly, ever so slowly, taking it off. And voila, you have made a swirl. So now I have two swirls. This is the newest one I made. Sorry, I'm just trying to show you it. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.